So at one point I was working with a lady who's more toxic than lead paint on walls for kids, okay? And I'm gonna go on a nice little walk, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna make some iced coffee or like a smoothie or whatever. Boy was I playing myself. That shit is not gonna happen. Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, I was laying down on the couch just now. I didn't realize that I was in a little bit of a funk until I was laying down and I was watching somebody else and I'm like, damn, she look nice. I need to get up and I need to work out. Because if I want to look that nice, it's going to need some workout. Not only that, like the other day, it took me, it took me, um, let me put y'all here. I just made my bed too because they said that you should wake up and make your bed and you're gonna feel good about yourself so i made the bed i don't feel good about myself but i made the bed anyways <laughs> but um wait what was i saying wow i literally forgot but that's great no so the other day when i went outside for like my little walk or whatever i'm just like okay this is great and i was having a rough mental health day and so that was good for me however i realized that i walked for how long did i walk for 66 minutes however put my watch on as i'm talking about this because i'm gonna need to track all them steps and all them calories to feel fulfilled so let's do that now however like um i went on a walk for 66 minutes and then when i came back i'm like damn that's an hour and six minutes and i could have worked out effectively finished strong in the hot ass apartment for 30 minutes and I would have burned the same amount of calories if not more so I feel like what I kind of the conclusion that I came that I came to was that um maybe I should get motivated to do the indoor workouts more so that the days when I don't feel like going outside like I don't have to stress myself and I'm already inside all the time anyways like today specifically I don't feel like going outside because I just checked the weather and that shit was already 80 degrees and it's like 10 o'clock because like why why do it need to be 80 degrees at 10 a.m.? And so, like, the hardest thing is for me to get up and, like, go outside. And I... Not only in these elaborate plans that I'd be making. The elaborate plan that I made last night was that I'm going to wake up early this morning. And I'm going to go on a nice little walk. I'm going to come back. I'm going to make some iced coffee or, like, a smoothie or whatever. Boy, was I playing myself. That shit is not going to happen. So now I'm here. And it's 10 o'clock. And the only thing I've done all morning is get up out of the bed go lay on the couch for like an hour or two and come back and make the bed so like imagine the day i'm having so i'm gonna vacuum this floor right now oh i took up this vacuum when i took up this vacuum i remembered something so at one point i was working with a lady who's more toxic than lead paint on walls for kids okay and so i i remember i was saying oh for christmas like we came back after christmas break or whatever and she's like oh what did you guys get for christmas and i'm like oh for christmas i got a vacuum but like that's what i wanted so like i'm so excited and she's like a vacuum and i'm like yeah like an actual vacuum the one that i have like i was stupid excited about the vacuum so like i was breaking it down and like telling her about it and everything because i thought she was excited for me too you know so i'm like yeah the one that i got like you can take you can take like the extended piece off and like you can use it as like a handheld vacuum and then you can like put it back on and you can like push it you know and she was like oh okay and I'm like, all right, <laughs> what, what, what are we doing here? And she's like, oh, are you white? What? Am I white? What do you mean, am I white? And I'm just like, well, damn. She then saw that I was excited about the vacuum and like that was the only thing she had to offer to the conversation. And I just felt so attacked because I'm like, damn, hear me out, right? If a vacuum is something that white people enjoy, why is it that we can't enjoy too? I like the vacuum. I'm excited about the stupid ass vacuum. And like, she just took that away from me. And so I just took the vacuum up and I remember it. And I'm just like, she was a hater. She was more toxic than lead paint. And it'd be a lot of things that she do all the time. But we're not even going to get into that. My plan for in here right now is to, because I already made the bed. I want to turn the air conditioner on. But if I turn it on, you guys are not going to be able to hear. Here's how my deeds work, right? Um... When I start really feeling good about the day and like myself and just everything in general, 
is when I like turn the air conditioner on and like light the candles. Just light the candles in general, but when I turn the air conditioner on, it does something, you know? Because like the entire apartment starts smelling really good and I really love good smells. I love when it smells good inside here. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to, this is the plan for the day, right? I'm already dressed. I'm wearing these um, biker shorts from, from Nike with like this little, where did I buy this? Primark. These little, um, what do you call these? I forgot. That I got from Primark. And I'm going to vacuum the floor because I just swept my little rug off and I'm going to vacuum it. I'm also going to vacuum the rug to see if I can give it like that fluffy look. It's not really fluffy, but like it looks dead. Like this looks like the part that I've been walking on. So I need to like vacuum it to fix that. If I don't fix it, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. And then I'm going to light my candles and try to see if I can complete a Chloe Tang indoor workout. Am I going to sweat until I die? Probably. But I want to turn the air conditioner on. So when I feel like my body is overheating to the point where it might shut down, I'll just run in here from the living room, cool down a little bit and go back out there. But honestly, if I can be outside walking for 66 minutes, I can literally work out in the living room for 30 minutes where I can go eat like a, what do you call it? Like a drumstick afterwards to reward myself. Not really, because that's not rewarding, but whatever. You know, you get the point. However, <laughs> I'm going to go do all of that right now. And then maybe I'll come back later if anything happens for the rest of the days. The way how these days are set up, Nothing might happen and y'all might not see me until like four days later and I will just act like it's all the same day. So, I hours. finished the workout. I got done with the workout a little minute ago. Honestly, I was doing so good until at like 21 point something minutes. I'm just like, damn, like, damn. This shit is hard. This shit is not funny and I'm like, I'm tired, so maybe I should just wrap it up. So I stopped and I feel good because I did something, you know, and now I'm trying to see if I'm going to eat or if I'm going to wait to see if somebody's going to take me out to eat something. Like, what am I going to do for the day? However, I have burger in the fridge because last night I ended up coming home late. So we stopped by Checkers and got me a burger, some fries and some chicken wings. And I ended up just eating the chicken wings and the fries and like some of the fries. So like I still have, my arms are hurting so bad because the workout that I was doing was like a full body workout. So like I was using my hands and everything and like they're hurting. So like the camera's drooping. So like I have the burger and I really would love to make some iced coffee, but I already took my pants off and like, what does that have to do with anything? Nothing at all. I should make some iced coffee. So I'm gonna make some iced coffee and sit and watch some YouTube videos, honestly. However, just now, just now, I got an invite to go to the gym and while it sounds fun and everything I literally do not know what I'm doing in the gym is there somebody inside of the gyms that will tell you this is how you put 12 3 30 on hello oh okay all right hold on downstairs and you want to call me exactly when you get here you didn't want to call me when you were looking for parking so i could prepare myself to not take my pants off okay oh my gosh okay so it's 6 31 p.m right now you guys and i literally look like a toenail hair is falling out of the bun and everything i didn't even notice until i turned the camera on but today was a flop okay i said it i said it today was a flop because I worked out, so like today wasn't even a flop in terms of like me not working out. I have guests, so I'm making sweet potato. The same guest who told me, oh, why don't you show, why don't you show your junk cupboard on your vlog? I'm making sweet potato for that same guest because I'm just making sweet potato. <laughs> Anyways. Um, today was not a flop in terms of like me not working out because I absolutely did work out I think I came back after I worked out too and it was a really good workout But honestly, I was so tired afterwards and I was invited to go to a park to walk but one it was too late It was already after 12 and it was already 91 degrees outside and it said that it felt like 99 That's not when I'm trying to be outside when it gets like that. I'm trying to be on my way home at that time of the day and so I had no interest in going so I didn't and I may have thrown a little fit 
because I didn't want to go and I feel like I wasn't taken seriously. So I threw a little fit. And um, so I didn't do that. I ended up sleeping. I slept. I slept. I absolutely slept for a hot little minute and it was good because I felt like my body needed that especially because I'm off today and typically I'd be off these two days behind each other but I wasn't I worked yesterday I'm off today and I work tomorrow so I felt like it was very important that I slept so I slept and I feel really good and now I have to make food well not really make food because like I already have food but like I have to figure out the food yeah what I even eat today what I eat oh I had a burger. I'm gonna insert my Insta story here of like my burger that I ate that I had from last night and I ate it with a knife and a fork and my friend just goes like yeah wow she was pretty much saying that she's so disappointed to even be able to call me her friend considering the fact that I'm eating the burger with the knife and fork but it's okay we move <laughs> she's gonna be fine I just didn't feel like holding the burger as crazy as that sounds anyways I'm gonna make food right now why are you staring at me Anyways, it's hot as hell, and I have to figure out the food situation. So I will come back later on. I'm not making any promises, cause y'all know me. I will say that and it be four, six, ten days later. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna drink some wine too, but I don't know either. You're gonna be the cameraman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you. That's it. Oh, feels so nice vlogging and like not having to hold it. But like, yeah, I'm gonna. What did I say? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drink some wine because I felt like I haven't had wine in days and days and days. Probably over two weeks at this point. And, and like a couple of days ago, I was a little bit depressed. I'm not gonna lie. I was very anxious. I was mainly anxious and like 5% depressed. And like I didn't even drink that day because on days like that where I feel like I'm struggling mentally, I don't wanna um I don't wanna drink. I just wanna like go through it and like be over it because I don't wanna get to a point where I feel like I'm using alcohol to take my mind off the things that I'm going through. That's when you're alcoholic. So we're not doing that. But I think today I'm gonna like allow myself to have a glass of wine, especially because tomorrow I'm gonna be standing all day and I'm gonna be tight. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make some food, figure out the food, drink some wine, and that's gonna be it for today, honestly. And then I work tomorrow. So that's it and that's all. Here. <laughs>